Are you looking for the best 10-inch tablets? In this video we will look at some of the 4 best tablets on the market. Before we get started with our video. We have included links in the description. So make sure you check those out to see which one is in your budget range. Starting at Number 1. Apple iPad Air 5. The iPad Air boasts a 10.9-inch 2360x1640 liquid retina IPS display that looks amazing in person. It's sharp, fully laminated, and boasts Apple's True Tone technology that adjusts the white balance based on ambient light. The display is brighter than most, hitting 500 nits of maximum brightness. Unfortunately, it's limited to 60 Hz, which is a slight downside. It's not quite a deal-breaker, but those of you used to 120 Hz displays may find it hard to live with. Apple powers this great display with its 8-core Apple M1 processor, 8GB of RAM, and 64GB or 256GB of storage. The M1 is slower than the company's newest M2 chip, but it's still a fantastic processor, with enough performance to outpace even the best Android tablets like the Samsung Galaxy Tab S9 Ultra. So performance won't be an issue with the iPad Air. Battery life is okay, scoring 6 hours in our test. The iPad Air supports the same peripherals as the iPad Pro, so you can use the Apple Pencil 2, the Smart Keyboard Folio, and the Magic Keyboard. The latter will turn your iPad Air into a genuine laptop replacement, albeit for a hefty extra $300. The main issue with the Apple iPad Air is the lack of storage on the base configuration. Sure, $600 is a great price for such a premium tablet, but it'll only come with 64GB of storage. If you want 256GB, you'll have to pay an extra $150, putting the iPad Air dangerously close to iPad Pro pricing. But as far as bona fide 10-inch tablets go, the Apple iPad Air is the best tablet out there. At Number 2. Samsung Galaxy Tab S6 Lite 2022 Edition. Most Android tablet manufacturers have opted to go big with their flagship models, leaving the 10-inch tablet market behind. Samsung's no exception, with its flagship Samsung Galaxy Tab S9 boasting an 11-inch screen. Thankfully, the company still has a strong offering for those who want a slightly smaller option, namely the Galaxy Tab S6 Lite 2022. Let's be clear, the Samsung Galaxy Tab S6 Lite 2022 isn't an Apple iPad Air rival. It's a mid-range device with a lower mid-range price. To that end, it comes with a Qualcomm Snapdragon 720G processor and 4GB of RAM, a solid setup that's enough for any Android apps you can find on the Google Play Store. You can opt for 64GB or 128GB of onboard storage, expandable via a microSD card slot. Samsung opted for a 10.4-inch display on the Tab S6 Lite 2022, with a decent resolution of 2000 by 1200 pixels. It's a good enough display for the price, with decent sharpness, vibrant colors, and good contrast. It's good enough for a media consumption device, especially with its solid battery life. The Tab S6 Lite 2022 achieved 7.5 hours in our testing, so watching movies on the go shouldn't be an issue. Like most of Samsung's mid- and high-end tablets, the Galaxy Tab S6 Lite 2022 ships with an S Pen. You can use it to take notes or annotate PDFs in Samsung's Notes app, activate gestures via air commands, and even use your handwriting to fill up regular text fields with the S Pen to text feature. Unfortunately, unlike those other tablets, the Galaxy Tab S6 Lite 2022 lacks a fingerprint reader for quick unlocks. Samsung's Galaxy Tab S6 Lite 2022 may not be the fastest or most premium tablet available, but it's the best Android tablet for those of you sticking to the 10-inch form factor. If you want the best Android tablets money can buy, you'll probably want to go up to 11 inches. If not, however, the Galaxy Tab S6 Lite 2022 is your best bet. At Number 3. Apple iPad 10. This base entry in Apple's iPad line may not be as flashy as the iPad Air or iPad Pro, but it's a solid mid-range option that will outperform almost any Android tablet. Anyone after a sleek, premium experience without a premium price will want to check out the 10th generation iPad. The 10th generation Apple iPad retains Apple's old mobile chip, the A14 Bionic, paired with 4GB of RAM. It's the same processor we saw on the 2020 iPad Air, so it's a few years old now. 
However, it's still a great performer, with Geekbench results similar to the new Google Tensor G2 processor in the similarly priced Google Pixel tablet. Storage is either 64GB or 256GB, and, like the Google Pixel tablet, there's no option to expand it via a microSD slot. Apple updated the basic iPad with a four-speaker setup similar to many high-end flagship tablets, including the iPad Pro. It doesn't make up for the lack of a headphone jack, but it's still a welcome upgrade. Unfortunately, battery life is slightly below average, with the iPad 10 only lasting 5.5 hours playing an HD YouTube video on loop at max brightness. There are other issues beyond the subpar battery life, too. For one, the 10.9-inch 2360x1640 display isn't laminated, so you'll see an air gap between the LCD and the glass. It also has issues with jelly scrolling and landscape orientation, where one side of the display refreshes faster than the other. And then there's the Apple Pencil situation. The 10th generation iPad doesn't support the latest Apple Pencil 2, so you're stuck with the Apple Pencil 1 and a USB-C to lightning adapter to use it. You can't charge the Apple Pencil 1 directly from the tablet, either, so you'll need a separate charger. It's a mess. That said, the pencil issue is only significant if you plan to use it. If not, then the Apple iPad 10 is a great mid-range tablet with excellent performance for its price. We wouldn't recommend it for productivity, but anyone who wants a tablet for everything else will be happy with the iPad 10. At Number 4. Lenovo Tab M10 Plus, 3rd Gen. The Lenovo Tab M10 Plus 3rd Gen is a solid, if unexceptional, Android tablet that comes in at a compelling price. So even if it isn't a standout product, it's still worth considering for anyone seeking a good deal in the Android tablet ecosystem. Lenovo's Tab M10 Plus 3rd Gen has a 10.6-inch, 2000 by 1200 display. It's a good screen, with 400 nits of maximum brightness and a fully laminated construction without any unsightly air gaps. Like most tablets on our list, the Tab M10 Plus's screen tops out at 60 Hz, which isn't great. However, the colors and contrast are decent, arguably more critical than high refresh rates when shopping on a budget. The low refresh rate likely helps with battery life, too, as the M10 Plus achieved an impressive 8.5 hours in our testing. The M10 Plus 3rd Gen has a MediaTek Helio G80 processor and comes in several RAM and storage combos. There's a base 3GB per 32GB model, 4GB per 64GB and 4GB per 128GB models, and a 6GB per 128GB model. We'd recommend avoiding the base 3GB model, go for one of the 4GB models. Note that you can always add more storage via the microSD slot. Lenovo's Precision Pen 2 works with the M10 Plus 3rd Gen, letting you take notes and doodle on the Tab M10 Plus. It doesn't work as well as the S Pen on the Samsung Galaxy Tab S6 Lite 2022, but it's still okay. However, dedicated note-takers or artists will want to go for the Samsung. Another budget concession is the lack of a fingerprint sensor. You get face unlocked via the webcam, which isn't a very secure implementation. It works well in good light, at least, but we would have preferred fingerprint unlock. We're not going to claim that the Lenovo Tab M10 Plus 3rd Gen is an exciting tablet, but it's a decent choice as far as value-oriented 10-inch Android tablets go. It's roughly $200 MSRP is okay enough, but try and see if you can find it on sale.